Oh my goodness. From Taylor, their ballad horn. What a nice horn that is, right? Big, fat, nice, juicy rings. Look at this gorgeous abalone finger tops. Holy smokes. I was just in the water today and saw some real up close. Of course, they were still walking away, but <laughs> two-piece bell. Feels like almost a six-inch bell. I'm going to say it's probably like five and, I don't know, five and three-quarter. Beautiful um, shepherd's crook in the back. This is not to be confused with the um, Carol Brass Fat Puppy. No, 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 no. This is the real deal. This is what the Fat Puppy aspires to be. Uh, Amato style um, uh, water keys. Here's a compression. Let's play some uh, something in a different key that might uh, seem awkward on a different horn. T3 jazz mouthpiece in it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Nice deep cup. I call it the, uh, I, I, I say it's like having a conversation with Chet Baker, <laughs> having pillow talk with Chet Baker, or maybe you're just whispering sweet nothings into his ear. You can find this great horn at horntrader.com in, hmm, it's a tough one. I might put it in the flugel, might put it in the cornet, might put it in other odd gear, might even put it in the B-flat trumpet section, but it's a standalone, gorgeous playing and sounding instrument. Come by and visit me here in San Diego. The weather is perfect right now. Come see Shamu or go down into Tijuana for a taco. It's all good. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.